name is Dr. Parijat Kumar and I'm a certified spine and sports specialist from USA. I'm currently working here in India and educating all my sports physios and orthopedic specialists about a proper and evidence-based way of doing the assessment and the treatment through our organization called International Sports and Orthopedic Manual Therapy. I'm here to discuss about frequent back injuries faced by the cricket fast bowlers or the fielders and many others in the sports person who are the overhead throwing athletes. Recently we came to know about Jaspreet Bumrah who had a left L4, L5 spondylolysis which is called the break in a bone and I'm going to explain here with a spine. So this is a spine and we are seeing from the back side, this is the pelvis and this is the lower back. So frequently our fast bowlers like Jaspreet Bumrah they have injuries to this point over here, if you can see carefully, this is called the pass interarticularis and they have stress fractures of these particular area on the lower back because of the kind of a constant workload force and all. But one thing I would like to explain to my fellow medical professionals over there, which really goes unnoticed over there, that if you are seeing this video, if you see carefully that just Preet Bumrah's bowling action, now he cannot really change his bowling action uh, as respected Michael Holding mentioned about and there are other cricketers who supported that, that a fast bowler like that in his career cannot really change his bowling action or the run up or something like that. So if you see biomechanically his action, when he is bowling, he is hyper extending his left leg, which is the leading leg, the front leg. All right, and his right throwing arm, the elbow is hyperextending. Now, what these two hyperextension of the elbow and the left knee is doing, it is it is actually causing a left ipsilateral flexion, a great extension on the lumbar spine, and a contralateral rotation to throw to generate the force from the throwing arm. This is called an extension rotation syndrome. And bowlers like him, just pre Bumrah, they have a lot of generalized hypermobility syndrome. So my request to all the medical professional and sports physios all there is to focus on such movement impairment and movement control dysfunction along with the other factors like overuse and the workload patterns and all as well, the hydration part and the sports nutrition part, to focus on such movement impairment uh, things as well because when they are side flexing like that, they are putting a lot of ipsilateral flexion and putting a lot of pressure on the lower back that is actually causing the pars interarticularis or the lower back the lumbar spine to go into like a stress fracture so until unless you observe this movement control or the movement impairment things uh, it will be difficult and therefore after this we can give some pelvic and lower back corrective exercises to fix this problem all right uh, if you have any comments or uh, suggestions you can please put it on the comment section you can contact us and hope we help you in learning some good and evidence-based way of doing professional medical practice. Thank you so much.